I will tell you why I finally left Interactive Brokers after trading there for over two years. I will tell you the things I absolutely hate. You will hear the good, the bad and the ugly. Choosing a broker is never as simple as just saying this broker is better than that broker. When I just started trading two years ago, I was focused on swing trading, stocks and CFDs. This means that I opened my position on one day and closed it on a different day. Commissions in Interactive Brokers are low and the live chat is pretty responsive. And as a bonus, if you're a European citizen and you go to interactive brokers since Brexit we don't have a PDT rule but I had some problems their award-winning platform it's really the slowest platform I ever worked with and if you want to make it more responsive you have to watch this video and then still would like it to run super duper fast but it doesn't it runs like 78% fast so yeah it's so unnecessary complicated but it makes sense interactive brokers is a big company it's all across the world it has tons of financial products probably the biggest library I've seen I don't need all that stuff and everything extra is just making it all so slow I never did my charting on interactive brokers I had a different charting provider where I could do all my technical analysis and I could just do the order execution right here on my phone their app is amazing and for swing trading that's all you need But from the start of this year I decided to day trade that means I needed a good fast and reliable execution platform and your phone is not really the place you would want to day trade there was no way I would want to use Trader Workstation for my executions. This was not enough for me to leave, because if you don't like Trader's Workstation, you can always go to Desk Trader Chair at Chart, Motive Wave, and you can even trade on TradingView. But if you decide not to buy extra live data package, then you will be stuck with Interactive Broker, their slower live data. Here's a comparison of another YouTuber who compared to Speed. 100% true that IB's data is updating slowly. Lower. If you're day trading on a lower time frame and the fastest level two quotes are not that important to you, then it doesn't matter for you. You probably won't need an extra data provider. But if you want to have the best possibility on reading price action, if you want to have the fastest data, then you will probably need an extra data provider and there's another thing I never personally experienced this issue but I've heard from some very high volume traders where it takes way too long to execute a trade but another thing interactive brokers is a terrible broker for shorting hard to borrow stocks first of all it is impossible to reserve shares and secondly they sometimes happen to, to have hard borrow stocks and if you are so lucky that interactive brokers has your hard to borrow stock you also have to pay an extra locut fee on top of that for all the easy to borrow stocks you can perfectly go short on interactive brokers the reason why i eventually left has to do with their slow and inefficient customer service my first horror story happened over a year ago back then i was just swing trading cfds my strategy was purely based on technical analysis that means i did not put any time and effort in fundamentals i found my perfect setup i placed my orders my stop loss my take profit and bam i was in the trade the chart it went to my take profit next day again going my direction this is going good but then the chart stopped moving nothing was happening anymore i was like why is this stock not moving well then I decided to maybe take a look in the fundamentals and what happened to be this stock was delisted. So my CFD position basically became worthless. When you trade CFDs, you don't own the actual stock. You have contract with the broker. I use CFDs because they give me big leverage. My leverage product just disappeared. And trying to solve this issue, they said, okay, we found a solution. On your winning trades, you will just have a loss of a little bit more than $7,000. I tried to get my money back, but I was never successful. Second story. Also about a year ago, I was traveling to Africa. Just woke up, I thought, ah, let me open the application. And all my orders were gone all my stop loss orders were gone i don't want to stress how important it is to have stop loss orders when you trade on leverage if at that time i did not see it that my orders were just gone i could be bankrupt so i, I immediately contacted interactive broker told them why are my stop orders gone they told me because brexit happened 
your account is moved from Interactive Brokers United Kingdom to Interactive Brokers Ireland, we moved all your positions but we didn't move your orders. Thank you. Luckily I did not lose any money, I saw it is on time and I just placed my orders again and I did not face this problem ever again. And then the last story happened to me one month ago. I was just doing my usual uh, day trading preparation, woke up on time, started scanning all my stocks, making a plan to start my trading day. Here's the bell, market to open. Just waiting for my setup till my price reached the level I want to enter. A setup appears, bam, I place an order and got an error. My account was restricted. Wow, why is my account restricted? Try, try to make an order again, again, no. Could not place any orders anymore my account was restricted so I immediately reached out to chat and was like why is my account restricted how can we solve this when they moved my account from interactive brokers united kingdom to interactive brokers ireland uh i needed to provide them with some documentation and when those documentation were sent then they would open my account again so immediately i provided them with all the documents i was waiting for a couple of days i didn't get a response i went to the chat again it's like when, when will i get a response i, I want to be able to trade again then the chat said, you have to upload documents in the notification prompts. So I uploaded all my documents and then from now on I would go every day to chat. When is my account open? Go to chat, log in, hey, when is my account open, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the appropriate team is working on it. Okay, next day, next day, next day. And I finally, after several days, I got a response back on my initial first message. He also provided me this document and this document. I already provided everything in the document prompt. And their response time in their secure message center, it's not the fastest out. And now you might ask yourself, why interactive brokers never let you know that the stock would be delisted? Why interactive brokers wouldn't tell you they would cancel all your orders? And why? Would interactive brokers just randomly close your account? There are two kinds of people in this world. One who their emails looks like this, and one who their emails looks like this. Well, my emails looks like this, and I get a ton of messages of interactive brokers every time I buy a stock, every time I sell a stock, it's also some random things, and usually it's never something interesting. But once in a while, there is. They send me, hey, this stock is gonna be delisted, and I had plenty of time to close my position. I honestly never could find any proof that, that all my positions would be cancelled. And they did tell me that I needed to prov provide some documents. They also did tell me three days up front, provide the documents now or your account will be restricted. But I have never looked into these emails. So please, if Interactive Brokers is your current broker or future broker, when you log in and please do this, oh, there is a bell icon. When there is a notification, please click on it and read it. If they just warn you there, I, I would have closed my position. They would never restrict my account because I, I had plenty of time. But as I said in the beginning of the video, there is not such a thing as this broker is better than that broker. A broker should suit your own strategy and your own trading needs. Interactive Brokers did not have any hard to borrow stocks. Interactive Brokers doesn't have the fastest data out there to have the fastest execution speed. I thought to myself, is there a broker out there with low commissions, cheap, hard to borrow stocks, fast data without the PDT rule? Can I find a broker like that? I found a broker that is perfect for my trading needs and I just left Interactive Brokers. And if you wonder what brokers is the best for you and what brokers should you choose for your trade, subscribe to the channel, let me know. Then I will make specially a video where I compare all the brokers and what strategies are the best for each broker. Because maybe Interactive Brokers is the best broker for you.